Hi guys, Susan here. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight I have my hubby Kevy. My um, iPhone SE 2020 version. The battery's puked. It doesn't take long to diminish it to like critical. I bought a battery off of Amazon making sure that it fits the SE 2020 version because there is a difference. Version 2. This is guaranteed for the A model number that is on my phone so I know it's going to fit. I have already taken off the uh, tempered glass screen protector. I pulled the SIM card. Yay! He pulled the SIM card. Expensive kit but it's some nice glorious tools. Yeah, this cost me the best part of 100 bucks, but it is a updated upgraded battery. It's it's bigger than the one that's standard in the issue. And as Kev said, it has glorious pro tools with it. So, first we take out the little screws down below. Make sure you get the right bit. There's a couple of bits. You get the little baby Torx or pentalope as they call it. I call it a Torx, but whatever. Anyways, then you get a couple of star tips, which you may or may not need, depending on your phone. And they have to fit exactly. Yep. No so, slop allowed. So when you are using one of the other ones, make sure it's an absolute perfect precision fit, so you get the right size. And away you go. Right Man, tool for the tiny. right dab. There you go. Teeny weeny clothes. And putting them in the plastic tray is the best, right? So yeah. they don't roll away, they don't get lost. Now comes the fun part. Yeah. I don't want to, Mommy. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Is that slightly off center on purpose? Yeah. I'm going to try and put it over top of the make believe uh, corner. Corner. This is the hard. Oh, no. It doesn't want to stick that way. <laughs> Booger. Okay, so this is where you guys don't get as much visual as you'd probably like, but that's this, the way it goes. This is the spudger, it's called. I don't know what you call it. I call it a guitar pick on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> this is to break the seal, the bond between the front piece and the body of it. Oh, I got into somewhere for a second. <laughs> It's on the way you hold your face. Oh, that's a mother. Mother trucker. Okay. Do... I'll link to the uh, kit I bought down below in the description box. Again, it's for the SE, iPhone SE 2020 version. And then you read the ad and it'll tell you all of the model numbers that it fits within that. Um, be sure you know what your number is before you order. Oh. Oh, okay, I felt it. I see it. Okay, I like it. What a pain. <laughs> oh. Once you have a gap, you got something to work with, right? <laughs> yep. Don't go on the edge of your table or you might crack it. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Now we have progress. Yeah, I think this one's hinged as well. The last one I did. Okay. Just uh, walk it around the other end a bit. A bit more force. Okay, Get off. Um, yeah, 
flashlight. Okay. Well, they certainly don't want you inside this little bugger, do they? Hmm? Well, there's a strap. So this is going to have to somehow open on its side because there's, see the strap here? Okay. This one. Yeah. So maybe follow it around here and maybe it hinges to the side. I don't know. With the spudger. Okay. Now you can see where it's going. Okay. There we go. Okay. So if we just, we're going to kind of have to have this up like this somehow. There you go. Okay. Okay. So. Let me adjust the camera angle here. Where are we with the bottom side? Bottom's there. There we go. So we've got this in the way here. It's looking like. Uh, okay. Okay. Do we have one? I'm holding it here. Um, we need something that's got some weight. I can't have that thing flop. Um, Get my pearl uh, thing there on top of the amp. Yeah, that's got weight. Good idea. Okay, so we've just got it propped against the, the box. Oh, Taking out the little screws. What's that cover? The connection cover? I haven't got a freaking clue. I've never <laughs> had one of these open before. Okay. This is a totally different ball of wax, this phone. Okay. Okay, so... How close are those to being the same? Those are the same. Oh, magnetized. <laughs> it's okay, they're both the same. That's all I care about. This little tiny one? Yeah. Goes. Goes right there. Okay, in the corner. I got this one left. So take note, there are a couple of different lengths. Oh, that's. What the hell is that? It's a screw, but holy cow! Mm. How do they machine crop that? Small? It's even smaller. Wow. Sure. Run out of juice. <clears throat> little wee. Little wee. Yep, they're both the same. Okay. So, so there's one goes there and one goes there. And the two yeah. long ones. The, okay. The longer ones go in the inside and the yeah, little so teeny one, ones go tiny, on one tiny, end and the other end. Tiny, tiny, long, long. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now they can go. Are they good there, or should they go in another piece of that plastic so they don't get caught in your hand? Okay. So I would take a pretty picture, but you're working on it. <laughs> no, we want to leave the display connected, so I just need to pull the battery, which... Oh, yeah, I gotta remove that stupid protector. Little piece of fur. Yep, that's the one right there.
There we go. Nice. All right. Nice. The cover's off of there. This is the little adhesive tabs you're trying to pull now. Yep, the crap I don't like. <laughs> yeah. Never seems to work the way you think it should, right? Never has yet. again <laughs> okay guys we're back sorry for the little interruption in uh, recording can be got a little frustrated but but this keeps me from being demonetized <laughs> and it's not language we'd like to see on this channel so so anyways you, repl you pull off the blue film and that'll expose so that you can tape down the battery. Okay, so we still have the pink to go. So there's a little piece of plastic over top of these little flaps. So you gotta pull them off and put them down. Fold them up onto the battery so they stick on the top of the battery. Oh, and as an FYI, freaking Apple. If this is your first time <laughs> doing an SE 2020, this version, first version. Apple actually pulled a fast one that I didn't even see until later. They had two more emergency tabs here. We could have pulled at this end and not had to go through the frustration of bending the battery to get and it out. This is second gen. Yeah, second first gen. First gen was 2016. Yeah. This is 2020, there's second gen, and then there's a third gen, which is the newest one. Oh, you bugger. Oh. Oh, you stupid. <sighs> okay, that can happen. <clears throat> yeah. Did I mention I'm having trouble with high blood pressure right now? <laughs> Keep it on the table. Well, I gotta make sure it's even with this, too. And the battery clip holds down where it's supposed to hold down to. Over on the right. Done? Yes? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Mm -hmm. Too late now. It's just, friggin' in. Just doing it. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, the true test is to fire the sucker up because they tell you to do that. That's to make sure the connection's right and supplying power and you haven't messed up the screen yeah, or anything. I'm going to go with no. Nope, it's not down right. bugger this is why you test it before you seal it all back up again <laughs> mm. 
Let's see if that can help. Just getting that battery mm. thing in there that's tricky as frickin' stupidness. There's mm. two screws sitting on the top of that. Mm -mm. Powered up. Okay. So now you have to wait till it fully comes yep. so you can turn it back off, right? Yep. Oh. Sleep on. Okay, how to... Um, How to have a Yeah, we know there's no sim, you dumb thing. There we go. Okay, we have a positive connection. That's good. All right, now time to put the plate back in. I want to make damn sure that sucker <sighs> there. And because we had a piece of felt there, give me your tape. Piece of felt. Well, that was covering over the top of the connector. I just don't want anything oh. else to touch it, so I don't mind putting a little piece of tape on it. Probably about the same little. Yep. Better to be safe than sorry. Good? Yep. Because that just has to go just, uh, just like that. Here's Can't cover the screw hole. Go <laughs> this way. It's just to cover the little piece of metal. Just I'd rather be safe just than to sorry. So it's not going to hurt. Put something either. in between so it doesn't connect, right? You got her. Short something. Out. Okay, you Pontiac piece of junk. Let's see if we can get you back together now. Ah. Okay, so two little doodads on each end and then the two longer ones in the other two holes. Ah, nope. Stay. Sit, stay. Good dog, Ubu. I'd like to know how they machine stuff this bloody small. Computers. That's the other longer one. And you just have to turn until they stop on their own in just a little tiny twist, like very minimal. Don't go freaking torque happy or you're gonna strip the screws and, and then you'll be <sighs> then you'll be sorry. Should be magnet or should be, no. Okay. Sorry to block your view guys, but this is this delicate is surgery. With delicate these little surgery dumb and things. Delicate surgery, and we want this patient to live. It's a lot of money sitting here. <laughs> and we compared the values between this battery and the one that came out of it, and it's like three times as much. Oh, the watt, the watt hours. Watt hours are about three times as much power. So, yeah. 
And if you're like me, you use your and you use an Apple Watch, you're asking a lot of a lot of demand out of your phone because they connect and they sync all the time so that it, you can read your stats off your phone or the watch. So I am very demanding on my battery, but it's for a good use. You know, this is the last battery this phone is getting, just so you know. Buy a new phone next time. <laughs> All right, so. Whoa. Before we go too far, we'll double check. Yeah, <laughs> that was a little better time. <laughs> I'll oh. say one thing I can appreciate about this phone. The whole thing comes off on its side. I shall punch in your number. Yeah, he knows it, but you're not allowed to. <laughs> it's because I'm special. Yeah, special. <laughs> 49% battery. Actually, I want to put the sim back in. With the battery on? Yep, it doesn't hurt anything. No? Nope, done it lots of times. Okay. Searching! Now you gotta enter the password again. Go Apple security. You have a new voicemail. Important battery message. Unable to determine if your iPhone battery is genuine Apple part. Go to settings for more information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, get to that. That's gonna be an alert. Quiet. <laughs> Probably because we don't have the Apple software to program it. We don't care. Important battery message. Unknown In part. part. I'm determine if your iPhone battery is genuine out part. This could be because the part is non-genuine. Not functioning as expected for the installation. Or the installation. Yeah, insta which it's fine. Apple. Apple has updated the device information for this iPhone. Okay. Is that all you got to say? <laughs> So, this is one of those ones where they probably want you to do the software thing too. That's why the battery message. So, but, as long as it charges to 100%, and as long as it works, just ignore that message that will probably always be there. So, unless we can download the software and program it. And but we may not be able to because it's third-party battery. So, I don't know. And um, as I was saying they suggest strongly suggest that you um, charge the battery to 100 percent then you use it use it use it use it until it's like pretty much Barf. like critical and then you charge it to 100 percent again and repeat a few times to fully condition the battery to get most use out of it. Thank you, honey. Don't thank me. Thank Apple. No, I'm just kidding. You're welcome. 